This is Radio Nepal. I'm Kaushal Kimire with the news. The headlines first. Government decides to scrap order for formation of Nepal Revenue Advisory Development Committee. Election Commission directs three tier governments to make necessary arrangements for the implementation of the Code of Conduct. Four more dengue-related deaths reported in Nepal yesterday. Total number of dengue cases crosses 27,000. And 17 people die in a restaurant fire in China. Now the news in detail. The government has decided to scrap the order for the formation of the Nepal Revenue Advisory Development Committee. Informing about the decisions of the cabinet meeting held on the 27th of September, the Minister for Communication and Information Technology, Kenendra Badr Karki, said the cabinet also decided to remove the chairperson and the executive director of Ketchana Kanchanjanga Tourism Development Board from their posts. Minister Karki said the government has also allowed Karua Seti Hydropower Project in Kaski and Madhya Super Daraudi Kola Hydropower Project in Gorkha to use national forest areas. The Ministry of Health and Population confirmed four more dengue-related deaths in Nepal yesterday. With this, the total number of deaths caused by dengue infection has reached 36 in the country. The ministry has also recorded 27,569 dengue infection cases in the country since mid-July. In an effort to control dengue infection, the ministry has led search and destroy campaigns in all seven provinces. The Election Commission has started enforcing the Election Code of Conduct in view of the November 20 federal and provincial elections. The Code of Conduct for the election, upcoming elections came into effect from yesterday. The Election Commission has directed three tier governments to make necessary arrangements for the implementation of the Code of Conduct. The Code of Conduct was published in the Nepal Gadget on the 29th of August. Leaders and cadres led by Dr. Shekhar Koirala of Nepali Congress staged a sit-in at the party's central office in Sanepa putting forth various demands yesterday. They staged sit-in protest at party central office for an hour demanding internal unity, equal opportunity and justice, according to central member Ajay Babu Sibakoti. However, the top leaders of the faction were absent in the sit-in. The Koirala faction has been accusing the leadership of submitting an unjust closed list under the proportional representation category of the election being held for the House of Representatives and Province Assembly on coming November 20. However, the Nepali Congress Party Office has made it clear that it had finalized the names in the closed list under the proportional system as per the party's regulations. The United States Acting Assistant Secretary for Global Public Affairs, Elizabeth Kennedy Trudeau, arrived in Kathmandu yesterday. The, um, the Embassy of the United States in Kathmandu said Trudeau, in, during her visit, will hold separate meetings with the U.S. Embassy officials and various members of the Youth Council and the Civil Society. Trudeau will hold meetings with minority group activists, media contacts and embassy exchange program alumni for roundtable discussions on disinformation and the media's role in democracy. The Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal has banned flying kites around the Driven International Airport. Issuing a notice yesterday, the authority warned of taking action against those flying kites around the airport. The authority requested all the concerned not to involve in such activities, citing aviation safety. The Cathay Pacific Airlines will start operating direct flights to Hong Kong, Kathmandu, from Kathmandu, from coming October 1st after a hiatus of three years. The direct flight by the airline between the two destinations was postponed owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. General Manager of the Thriven International Airport, Premnath Thakur, said the flag carrier of Hong Kong has sent a letter to the concerned authority to operate the direct flight from October 1st. Presently, Nepal Airlines has been conducting regular flights between Kathmandu and Hong Kong. The Supreme Court is to remain open for four hours during the Dasai holidays. 
According to the Supreme Court spokesperson Bimal Powdell, the court will remain open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. to look after the habeas corpus read. This schedule will be effective till the 9th of October. At least eight people died in a jeep accident in Salyan yesterday. A jeep en route to Sinwang of Kapurkot, rural municipality in Salyan from Dakeri of Bangke met with the accident at Kapurkot, rural municipality, ward number three yesterday. DSP at Salyan Police Office, Damodar Kesi, informed that all eight people died on the spot. The vehicle was carrying passengers who were returning home after participating a wedding party. Meanwhile, a jeep has met with an accident in Palpa today. Details of the accident is yet to come. Two people died after they were hit by lightning in Dewan Ganj, rural municipality, ward number one in Sunsari yesterday. According to the district police office Sunsari, the deceased were 45-year-old Rita Devi Yadav and Udit Chandra Yadav. Pioneering Ski climber from the United States of America, Hillary Nelson, who had been missing since last Monday in the vicinity of Mount Mon- Monaslu, has been found dead. According to the Deputy Superintendent of Police at the District Police Office, Gorka, Lila Raj Lamichani, the climber's lifeless body was found yesterday morning. The body has been brought to Kathmandu-based Driven University Teaching Hospital at Maharaj Ganj for post-mortem examinations. Hillary skied down at Lotse Peak in 2018. She had the record of skiing down two peaks above 8,000 meters. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. Time for a short break now. Bazu Darsan Bagiwani Babu Ramrari Aipung Vani Hazur Ramrari Pungi Utsai Mir College Go Best Friend Naste Bazu Naste Aunula Vitre Unsa Bazu Oni Dada Ta Office Goisak Nubolai Unga To Bianeo Unsa Ta Beru Fresu De Gonuno Makana Ta Argor De Gorsai Os Os Bazu Oi Wifi Volani Password Magna Eh Topani NTC Ko Sosto De Pack Sotesani Eh Ora NTC Ko De Pack Lina Asterix So the Pondra Has Dial Gorna Nepal Telecom Rastra Ko Sanja You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. On to some international updates now. Hurricane Ian, a powerful Category 4 storm, is bringing severe flooding, high winds and storm surges to the Florida coast in the United States. It made landfall on Wednesday afternoon with maximum sustained wind speeds of 241 km per hour near the city of Fort Myers. The Florida governor has warned people in the storm spot to get ready for a difficult couple of days. A fire at a restaurant in northeastern China on Wednesday killed 17 people and injured three. Local authorities said the blaze broke out at 12.40 p.m. in a restaurant in the city of Changchun. Authorities said the cause of the incident is under investigation. Ukraine on Wednesday called on the West to significantly increase its military aid to Ukraine after pro-Kremlin authorities in four Moscow-held regions of Ukraine declared victory in the annexation votes. Ukraine's foreign ministry in a statement called on the, on the European Union, NATO and the Group of Seven to immediately and significantly increase pressure on Russia, including by imposing new tough sanctions and significantly increasing their military aid to Ukraine. Late on Tuesday, officials in four Russia-occupied regions of Ukraine claimed victory in the referendums slammed as sham ballots by Ukraine and its Western allies. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the forecasting division, the weather will be partly to generally cloudy in province number one, Bagmati province and Gantiki province, and partly cloudy in the rest of the country. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is also likely to occur at a few places in province number one, Bagmati province, and at one or two places in the rest of the country. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin, but before wrapping up the headlines once again. Government decides to scrap order for formation of Nepal Revenue Advisory Development Committee. Election Commission directs three tire governments to make necessary arrangements for the implementation of the Code of Conduct. Four more dengue-related deaths reported in Nepal yesterday. Total number of dengue cases crosses 2,000. 
127,017 people die in a restaurant fire in China. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website, www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day. 